Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm going to be lifting off the tarps and revealing the final foundation. It's all done at this point, which is a really nice feeling. Uh, I just want to mention the reason I'm wearing this is that we have a lot of smoke coming in from Canada. If I take this off, you can really smell it in the air. There's a haze everywhere. Uh, a lot of people are getting headaches working outside. I'd prefer to work, be able to work outside and not get a headache, so I'm, I'm using this. But mostly I'm going to try to uh, do most of my work inside today, but I did want to uh, lift this stuff up and backfill a little bit around it because the chickens still have access to some of the foam and I don't want them uh, pecking away at it. So let's start pulling this stuff up. I was using these to keep the tarps from blowing away. There's a little, a little creature that got stuck in a puddle there. Right. This little thing here. Ugh, fly! What is that, a cockroach? Well, you're outside so I'll save you. There we go. All right. All right. There we go. That's the final coat. Right there. Some people will like to smooth it down. I know uh, there's a, uh, a master of mosaics out there uh, who's really, really great at stucco work. And he really loves taking a sponge and uh, uh, smoothing the whole thing out with the sponge before he's done. I, I actually kind of like the rough surface of it um, and it, it also matches all the other stucco work that I've done here so I kind of decided to, to stick with that kind of a, a finish uh, surface on there. I'm going to pull this off. Yeah and it's looking really nice. Uh, this step right here is what's going to go here. This is where the doorway is going to be and uh, I'm liking that. I'm going to take a, a sprayer, wet it down, and then just start backfilling along some of the lower areas because the chickens can still kind of nibble away at all this stuff. But uh, it's looking, it's looking awfully nice. So uh, I'm, I'm pleased with it. I'm hoping that this air is going to clear out, although the forecasts are making it look like we probably have at least several more days of this kind of thing. And this is a great time for you know, appreciating the fact that I have preps like this. You know, I have the N95 uh, 95 masks if I need them. Uh, you know, whereas a lot of other people, uh, they, they don't have this, so they have two choices. They can go outside and work and get a headache, or they can skip work for the day and not get stuff done. I don't, I don't have to have only those two choices. My, I can choose the third choice, which is wear a respirator, go outside, get some work done, and also not have a headache and, you know, you know, scratchy throat and all that kind of stuff. So it's events like this that really remind me of what's so great about being a prepper. We're not sitting here living in fear, you know, worried about everything. We just take steps so that when stuff like this happens, we get that third option that everybody else, you know, doesn't have access to. And it's a nice feeling to have that third option. That's it. Thanks for watching.